I am Anil Kumar. With the help of few videos, we will discuss how to divide fractions. In this very first video, we will only understand the basic concept of division. Remember, division is same whether you are dividing whole numbers or fractions. Uh, let me begin with whole numbers. Let us say we have to divide the number 6 by 2. We know the result is 3. But what do we understand by dividing 6 by 2? Basically, we are asking two questions here. The first question here is, let me write down these questions. How many times How many times can 2 go into 6? So the answer is 3. 2 can go into 6 3 times. Or we could ask a question saying how many groups of 2 of 2 can fit into 6. Even then, the answer is 3, right? So that is what division is. Similarly, if we extend this to fractions, and let me take another example from fractions. I'll keep things very simple. Uh, let us say we want to divide half by 1 fourth. Then, to divide half by one fourth, let us ask the same question. How many times can one over four go into half, right? What do you think? You can pause the video and answer this question. How many times can one fourth go into half? Now, to make it simple, let me give you a visual look. Let us say we have half of pizza, right? Let's say we have just half of pizza. So, this is, let me shade this in one color. Okay. So, let's say that we have this half. Of pizza and we want to share it one fourth of it in different to different people right so how many people can have one fourth of it so one fourth of it will be how much kind of this much right so let me shade one fourth of it in a different color So from here, it is very clear that one-fourth of it could be two times. So one-fourth of this pizza can fit two times here. And therefore, we can say half divided by one-fourth is equal to two, right? Do you see that? Let me make some diagrams to represent this in the form of rectangles. Let us say that I have to divide half by one fourth. So half can be represented by dividing this into half, right? So this becomes half of it, correct? So this is half. We are dividing this half by one fourth. One fourth, right? So one fourth is is that much. One out of four, correct? So one out of four. Now the question is, how many times can this go into that? Do you understand now? How many times can this go into that? Or how many times can one fourth go into half? Clearly, 
one fourth could go two times do you see one and two so if you can fit it it'll go two times and that is how we get our answer as two so most of the time when we are doing division of fractions we are asking the same question how many times is the divisor going into the number right so if you answer that question you'll get the result that is a visual look at what we are trying to do now it becomes easier to answer this question if we take these two rectangles with same number of rows and columns so what I will do this time is we are again working on half divided by one fourth to represent half we'll just do half of it but since we have to divide by one fourth let me break up these rectangles into four parts reason being that four is the lowest common denominator so I can do that by making two rows right and then two columns so we have now four parts now once we have four parts it becomes easier to connect now we are saying half divided by four so this is half for us do you see that that is half divided by one fourth how many times can one fourth fit into half now it is absolutely clear it can fit two times right so so it helps by having the same shape or by dividing the rectangle into same number of pieces so we say that half divided by one fourth is equal to two so i hope that gives you some idea about it we'll work more on this particular question half divided by one fourth in the next video and i'll introduce you to two new concepts they will help you to understand division of fractions even better i'm anil kumar share and subscribe my videos to learn thank you and all the best